but for New York, we all uh, know that New Orleans. Pongo, hold that thought as we have our kickoff with underway with Jack Hyten getting us started and all the gold in the gold and white and New York in the blue. Let's go right back to Pongo. Javetta, soft hands. Windsor. He's got Shabazz. Shabazz barreling toward that no try hands. line. Again, that try line is yellow. The sidelines, the touch lines are white this week. If you're a little confused, the New York in for the first try. Let's see at the bottom of that pile. It looks like it might be Talapo, but no, it is Andy Ellis. They're just grinding. Good line there that time. Andy Ellis feeds them. Good carrying pass right into the guts. And then Andy Ellis just sneaks his way over, straight over the try line. And his kick is up, and it is good. I don't know if you recall, last month against San Diego, he was perfect from the tee in freezing, windy conditions. Transfer wasn't executed. Yeah, it looked like Billy Stewart knocked it on again. He'll get it right. There's Ellis. Putting it in. New York out left. It's in the hands of Emery on the burst. Nobody there for Nolan. He's got some men inside. He might not need them, but there's Carol Pryor. Carol Pryor's going to go all the way for an automatic 7 0 no, no, no. <laughs> Left of the post. Dots it down. Looked like he could have gone right under the post, Mike. No, I mean, there was a good good pursuit there from New Orleans to kind of chase him away from right under the sticks. But what a play this was from New York. Good, good scrum platform. And Ponga was telling us really about Jason Emery. I mean, I love watching Jason Emery play. He is so versatile. And Kara Pryor, I mean, he was on his bike to chase that play down. He started at the back of the scrum, giving a push, and then look at his pursuit from the inside. Look at those numbers there in the striped jerseys, though. O'Connor's on the one side. Kara Pryor's there. Jack Hyten's following up. And then good pursuit from Duplessis to keep him out of the automatic seven. Emery through that gap. But, Mike, the coaching staff, Thompson, Spencer, and Howden, cannot be happy with no defense there. There's a conversion is good. Eric Howard gets ready to throw it in. And it's taken by Devin Short. And out the back of it goes Cam Dolan. And he held up. No, it's back, it's back. Oh, it looked like a short fire try, and now it is. He'll do it all in the forward pack, and so he's just plowing into New York defenders, taking Jack Hyten with him over the line, and a well-earned five points for New Orleans off a great set-piece play. When you do those peels, that's your goal. If you run it right, you are looking to put your biggest forward up against the number 10 at full steam, and that's exactly what happened. All right, with that conversion by Damian Stevens, we are now 14-7 in a one-try one game again. We had, uh, we had already called the play because JP, as soon as he knocked it on, he picked it right back up, so they'll... they'll Call that ball done and we won. It's height and height right by himself. Oh, great tackle from New Orleans. And back up on his feet trying to set the platform. But Pochett was the tackler. But Ellis with a backdoor handoff to the Butcher. Dylan Fawcett. Jack Hyten taking the seam there. Great tackle by Duplessis. Can't get his hands on the ball. New York with the advantage. Andy Ellis trying to dig it out. And then Dylan Fawcett, who earlier on we talked about. Tanguia still driving no forward despite early contact from New York and it's stripped by Brendan O'Connor. Duarte says, yeah, that's fine. Now the ball is a foot race and it goes right into the hands of Ed Vito, who's going to go untouched into the try zone and he's going to dot it down. <laughs> New Orleans looked like they had been camped out in here for a while. They were looking like they had some build up on attack here. I mean, they were looking good by all accounts. Everything was going right for them. But then all of a sudden, here's a quick turnover. Great job by Brendan O'Connor. We saw some big hits from him earlier on, and Andy Ellis just pumps it down. I think he was just looking to clear his lines. And I think New Orleans like, oh, man, we're jogging backwards here. And Vito just, whew, just gets out in front. And Man, that's that's great. That's not the case with John Bowers and his singing. All right, well, we'll get your mind off the game right now. We'll get your mind off of that, and we'll go back to the game. But we'll get more on that later. Thank as you, Tom Weah takes it off the line out. Sit. Yet to come in. And now two, three. And now two, three. Get off, get off. Is it now? There's a little wheel action going on, and it's a penalty earned by New York. What about those that argue that New York got beaten? Pretty well by LA and a big point differential, and you got to make that up. As height just makes any of those make points move in terms of getting some points where he just splits the uprights again, so that's free, but they understand the point. On a bashing run from the front rows, front row players of New Orleans. Coleman dummies it inside and keeps it. Coleman, he's got it. Oh, short, just comes up short, but now it's going to be, it looks like 
Capiello like with the try for Nola. They a lot fight. of New Orleans, and they haven't kicked. We've seen them. They want to attack. Great show and go that time from Coleman. And look, he had options on either side of him. But what a chase from Heighton. Just not enough. As it looks like. Kick is up, and the kick is good. And he was rambling with the ball against Scrum Cap, and now Stevens takes a quick tap, and Stevens in the open. He's got one, two players with him, a great move. He might not need him as Vito closes in, and there's a long pass. Taking Vito's again on defense, and he can't cover everybody, and Damian Stevens in for a try. And just like that, the differential closes in an eye blink. You're deep inside your own half, and this boy has pace. Look at him go, just breezing past Andy Ellis and Mingluski. Options around, makes height and miss. Fido, though, hot pursuit, and then just stays alive on the play and finishes in the corner. So just tremendous, tremendous effort by that man right there, Damian Stevens, to put another one down for New Orleans. And look, staying on the outside, just stays alive. Ball ends up back in his hand. Crowd respectfully quiet. As Stevens punches it through. Great conversion from Damian Stevens and the Nola Goldner now with the 10 points. And if you Jack Heighton, you want some help out there, certainly. There's a oh, high pass, Speedo. Sorry, Shabazz went for it. In the meantime, the other way, it's going to be a try for New Orleans. J.P. Eloff. New York not doing a great job of finishing their tackles. They're hitting a little bit low, letting these gold players get their arms free. Shabazz just missing out on that one. Eloff stays alive on the play, finishes up, and I mean. Not taking that three points when you're in front of the posts down there. Again, is you know, argue, you know, a decision that could be questioned as the upright just split by Damian Stevens. Is Mayhew. And here's Dolan again, and it's taken by Chance Wangluski, who now darts it Top back goal. into the turf to hopefully get some phases for New York, if you're a New York fan. New, New Orleans. York needs to try here. They, they, they definitely, definitely need, need to, to, pad, to pad this difference, that's for sure. As far as they're concerned, though, they just need that bonus point win. I don't think New Orleans is any danger to them on, on the leaderboard as far as uh, points on the table go. They just need to get those five bonus points and just keep moving. They, they can't afford to squander this one and walk away with only two bonus points. Well, again, I'm just going back to that end-of-the-season point differential tiebreaker thing. Stay in the middle. As New York the middle. looking to drive, and they look like they might have it on the short side. And it is a try. Who's got it? Unbelievable end of this match, and it looks like the butcher, Dylan Fawcett, scoring for his son, Liam the Cleaver. Fawcett. Good throw by Fawcett. He's been he's been spot on all game. We talked about how important the lineout was going to be for him, and here he is doing what he does best, sitting out the back of the lineout mall and just letting the team march forward, finding his seam. Kick is up, and the kick is... No good. Well, great effort, but that's going to take us down to the final moment, and it's over. New York holds on for, for, after a relentless second half, a dynamic second half from Kane Thompson's Nola goal, 36-28. Unbelievable match. Two, two entirely different matches.